I thought it would be fun to do a little heart shape for you today. I like to do these as cards or just as something pretty to put together. I start out with a some sort of a heart piece. I've got this little ceramic dish and I use it to lightly uh, with a pencil to lightly trace uh, the heart shape. And then I just start painting my flowers and leaves, just kind of spacing them so that it works out to be pretty well proportioned. You kind of just have to get started with it to get an eye for it. I'm just going to do for sure three of these little roses or they're not necessarily there. I mean, they're not definitely roses, but a flower that has quite a bit of petals in it. Okay, and then once I get a couple of those done, I like to get started on my leaves. I'm using this Windsor Newton Professional Set. So I start out with just putting some leaves kind of here and there randomly around the edge. I'll go back in and fill in a little bit more with some leaves, maybe of a, a different shade. I'll do some a little darker and some a little lighter. To darken my green, um, I do a couple of different things. I guess it kind of all depends on what shade I'm going for. I tend to like a green that has a little bit of a hint of brown to it. So I might add just a tiny bit more brown to my green shade. It doesn't take a whole lot of paint to do a pretty little image. I also like to do the leaves different sizes, just to kind of make it look like it's something that you put together with a couple of different plants. I'll probably do some of them to where they're Um, a little bit on the round side. So I'm kind of making this a little bit more gray, some of this blue. And I think I'm actually going to use a smaller brush for this because I'm going to do some little small leaves. So I'm going to use a size 2 round. And just do a couple of little round shaped leaves, kind of like a eucalyptus leaf. So it'll look like there are some eucalyptus sprigs on this wreath. Some of these are looking a little bit dark, but as it dries, they'll lighten up. And just like with the flowers and the other leaves, you want to place them kind of here and there, trying, trying to balance it out all the way around the wreath.
So I just barely, as you can see, the, the paint is just so thin. It's like mostly water and a little bit of color. Okay, and then I'm going to put in some more florals, but I kind of want to change the color up just a little bit, add a little bit of a different variation of color. I'm just going to do these little dots, kind of like little dotted florals. You might want to, from time to time, stop and step back and take a look at what you've done and just see if things are getting spaced out nicely. You also want to make sure you keep some of your color here um, on your palette. That way you can go back if, once you get quite a bit done, you can go back and add, add more florals if necessary or leaves. Okay, now this, even though it's the dots again, is going to actually end up being a bigger flower. But I'm just going to put the dots on here for now, just to get started. This is kind of just a fun little flower. Super easy to do. I'm sure you've seen me do it before. Well, depending on how much I let the paint sit there, the, the dot sometimes dries a little bit, which kind of gives it a, a fun little base for the flower. Sometimes they go in a little too quickly, though. And it just all blends in. This one is more like what I like it to look like. You can obviously mix in any colors you like. I just thought I'd do these all kind of similar colors. Okay, and then I'll make a couple that look like, kind of more like a, a bud, like they haven't opened up yet. You can see my pencil lines throughout, and once you're done, if your pencil lines show up, you can erase them. Or you can try and cover them over with paint, like I've done on quite a few of these. Okay, and then I'm just going to add in some more leaves. I do like to try to cover up my lines as much as I can with the paint. Okay, I'm liking how this is turning out. I think I want to um, put a few lines through here. Let me see if I can get this green, a little 
closer, there we go, back into the brown shade. And then I just take my brush and just do some wispy little lines. You almost can't see them, but when the whole thing is done, you'll see they just add a little bit of fullness to the painting. Just kind of like an actual wreath that you might put together you would, it would be filled in with various twigs or extra greenery. Okay, and then I think I want to darken some of it up a little bit. And then maybe even make a few more tiny leaves. Just kind of strategically here and there. Not too many. One of the things you want to be careful of is overworking a painting. Just putting a little bit too much in it. And I think I should probably go ahead and stop. I like the way that looks.